What's up you Chad Poles? Today we are going to be bringing you the top five maps for contractors for the week of July 28th. Well, actually I lied. I'm only bringing you three this week. Uh, it, there, there just weren't that many that were released, so I'm going to bring you three. And then I'm going to throw in a little extra cookie in the end, a little tasty treat for you guys. So starting off at number three, we have John Wick Hotel by JJ4VR. And this was, this was, it's a good one. It's a fun one. I think this would be really, really good for pistols. It's honestly too small of a map to be running around with like an RPG or an RPK for that matter. But it's pretty, you know, it's got that modern Japanese vibe to it. And I don't really think we have any maps like that. Seeing enemies through the glass kind of distorts them a little bit, and the lights turning on and off can be a fun time. They've even got a statue of Keanu Reeves, which I thought was super sick. But overall, it's a pretty simple map. It's a small map, but it's a cool vibe, and it's a good time. Up next at number two is Barbenheimer. That's right, the meme has become a reality, boys. They have turned Nuketown into Barbie's Playhouse, and I honestly, dude, I love it. I love it. I mean, Nuketown is just glorious. I love playing on it. It's an absolute classic, so any sort of version of it, I'm down for. Last week, we had Star Wars. This time, we have Barbenheimer, and I'm down, dude. I'm down. It's so fun. It's a great time. It's a different scheme. They have, like, zombies singing the Barbie, like, theme. It's super strange. But half the fun of these maps is just finding like those little details, you know? There, there's a little pool and slide you can go to and they have some Oppenheimer things like this clock here, for example. But it's pretty much just a pink shaded version of Nuketown. It's gonna be a blast, it's gonna be a meme. And when you wanna break and just do something fun, I mean, this, this, this hits, this, this honestly hits. Now we're going to be a little naughty here and have dessert before dinner as I bring you ODST Streets, Mombasa streets. I don't know how I had overlooked this for so long, but I just want to share it with anyone and everyone. I have like a profound core memory of getting ODST on release day and jumping into Mombasa streets and being like, wow, a new Halo game. So pretty, so cool, atmospheric, the rain, everything, and then just getting stomped because ODSTs were so much squishier than Spartans. It, it was a revelation, and I have a, a deep emotional connection to this map. And having the chance, so many years later, to walk these streets in VR, it's a dream come true. And I know I say that a lot, but this one had me mesmerized. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm, I'm bringing up the brightness a ton because it, it's a dark map. It's a really dark map, and I think that like the lighting could use a little tweaking, especially because... I can't even see the details on my guns. They're pitch black, but everything else is gorgeous. The lights on the ground are super high def. They have like little water fountains and the skyline is crystal clear. My only complaint is that it is massive. It is enormous. And it's kind of the same problem I've had with a lot of these contractors map is that it's too much map for the player base. Until we find a way to get like a Battlefield 64 player lobbies, these maps are just gonna feel empty. But God, it just gets me excited for the future of VR gaming. And I really hope that one day we will have a Battlefield-like-esque lobby on this map. Now don't say Papa didn't do anything for you because in at number one, we have a treat. Guys, this is hijacked from Black Ops 2 on Mustafar. That's right, the universe is unraveling, aliens are real, and I don't know what to do anymore because this map is so fun. I, I, I don't want, I need a huge amount of lobbies on this map. I, I don't know why I thought it was so cool. I was astounded. The detail is super fun. The skybox is great. The lava flow is awesome, but it's just a good map. People love playing it. It's small, it's simple. This is a little bit bigger than the original map, but it just works. And the thought of being on like a yacht in Mustafa, it's just so fun, man. It's so fun. And it's a replica. You have the little side part, you have the pool, you have the little middle section with the little cabanas that you could walk through. They have the two rooms with the upstairs and the downstairs. They have the boiler rooms on the bottom and like you could see the lava flowing through the grates. I mean, it's such a cool time, man. Naturally, I had to play as Anakin Skywalker and I was having a little trouble getting on the high ground, but I mean, we're used 
to it by now. But if you use the jetpacks, you could go all over and, and you can get into some seriously elevated positions. I mean, this map is gonna be chaos and I can't, can't wait to play this all day, every day, no problem.